The 19th Psalm of the Bible says that the heavens declare the glory of God. But before the Psalms were written, mankind has been observing the movements of the astronomical clock. From the Adam's calendar to Nocta Playa, the Great Pyramid of Giza, Anka Tom and Anka Wat, and the Great Green Castle Hill. What is ancient astronomy? Where the stars meet the stones? What is ancient astronomy? The mother of archaeoastronomy and astrotheology. Before the Holy Bible, Rig Veda, the Popol Vuh, and even the Meduneta, the original scroll, the heaven, has been declaring the glory. Ancient Astronomy. Order your copy today. Prosperity is a herbal remedy that has been naturally designed to nourish the prostate gland. Prosperity uses a combination of leaves, roots, and barks to create a tincture designed to nourish your prostate gland. It also will assist in prostate-related issues such as erectile dysfunction, swollen prostates, and problems related to the passage of urine. Call or WhatsApp 728-8289, 728 and get your bottle today. Prosperity. Cutting and clearing, moving all obstacles out of the way. This is the tightest dance. And of course, your humble servant with you, honorable priest Isaac. presence with us another wonderful evening of course you know this is the tigers nest radio program a program that comes to you every monday tuesday wednesday and thursday at the hour of 7 p.m going on into the evening with just vibes and melody and meditation right here on radio i know the international flavor this is the universal spice. Of course, you are in tune to RadioAnu.com. No, Radio Anu, the international flavor. We are on Priest Isaac Institute.com. Priest Isaac Institute.com. Of course, remember, you can give us an email, Priest Isaac Institute 
at gmail.com and definitely we would correspond with you and whatever the case may be. Hey, we definitely have a wonderful program for you this evening. We are, we'll be officially streaming some part of this program even on Radio Anu TV, which is really the YouTube. We'll be definitely highlighting a subject area that many ones have been asking about as it relates to the presence of Haile Selassie the first with us. But I want to put it in another form. Tonight, I want to take the time to go into history and uh, look at some of the oldest living people that we can highlight, some of which will be the people that are even alive today. I'm talking about going into 160, 170. Now listen to me. I know some of you will be saying, oh man, come on, brother, they have people older than that. There's a man that lived to be uh, 552, and there's a man in the Himalayas, 743. I understand. Believe me, I understand. But just for argument's sake, I'm going to keep it in the ballpark of what you consider um, um, information and knowledge that the populace has accepted. I'm talking about people that were born before Haile Selassie the first. Eh? And this is this is going to be a beautiful program tonight. Yeah, because this is going to show us as Rastafari, especially those of us who say we hail the king. You understand? I'm not asking, I'm not wondering, we're not, you know, playing no debate here. There's no human being that can prove that anything has happened to Haile Selassie the first. You understand? You know what I mean, draft for Mengustu tonight. When Mengustu said, <laughs> I never, I never ever assassinated Haile Selassie. I would have never done a thing like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, seriously. No one can prove anything happened to Haile Selassie the first. Haile Selassie the first disappeared. And you know, we would have done several programs to disprove all of the talk. Remember, first of all, he was on the, he was on the, uh, what do you call it? He was on the operation table, getting some sort of prostate examination. And then that, he, he came to his demise. That's Haile Selassie I'm speaking of. Haile Selassie doctor said, I don't know what these people are talking about. They said, oh, well, let, let's try something else because we can't find him. Because we cannot find him. That's why you hear some people say that it was the 28th of August. Some say it was the 27th. Some even say it was the 26th. Why? Because they gave it a little time. Because some said since the 26th, the king disappeared. And then Haile Selassie disappeared. Speaking of old people, we have old people around here in Antigua. I already highlighted this before, which would have explained to me that when that happened, they clearly remember the news saying, Haile Selassie, the emperor, the ex-emperor of Ethiopia, as the news would have said, is gone, has gone missing. You understand? Right. So, so as a Rastafari, I personally, I mean, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to beg anyone. I'm not trying to beg anyone to see things the way I see it. Please, please don't judge me for my quote-unquote belief. I'm just saying, Outside of the realms of belief, no one can prove that Haile Selassie is dead. This is my point, and I'm very strong with that. Very strong. That's why I, I challenge any Rasta man to prove that. I hear some Rasta talking about, well, you know, His Majesty say that, you know, the death of man is inevitable. I mean, I mean, give thanks. I'm not arguing them points. My point is, no man can prove. That's my point that anything has happened to Haile Selassie, these chicken bones and donkey bones or whatever it is they be burying. How much time they did that? About three times they tried that bone stuff in. <laughs> yeah. So come on, Rastafari, don't let the world fool you. What we're going to be talking about, we're going to be showing you a slew of people that older than the king, that surpassed the age of the king. How old is the king? How old? 
think it's 131 or 132. I'm gonna do my maths right now. Mm -hmm. So so when you when you understand, hey, you gotta be 131 going on to 132. When you comprehend one's living uh, up, up to 147, and we're gonna get to that this evening in full accord, you understand. But once again, give thanks for those who were with us previous, uh, well, it's not previous anymore, Sunday evening, Sunday afternoon, rather, for the lecture, Shiva, Aksum, and the Ark. I still see ones um, saying that they're sorry they missed it. I will repeat once again, this has now been crystallized as such. It is now a part of our archives, what you would say, enshrined in our archives. You can get a copy of the webinar, Sheba, Aksum, and the Ark, in the same way that you can get a copy of all of the webinars that we have available from the Santa Claus Massacre, the webinar, not the documentary that we did, uh, the last Hamas there. You can get that too, you understand. But we have a webinar entitled the Santa Claus Massacre. We have the webinar fairy tale folly days and nursery crimes. We have the, what else we have? We have all sorts of stuff here. Um, the living gods of Kemet, Semenkare, and Tutankhamun, Akhenaten, and Ramesses the second, Ursa Atra, Setep and Ra, Ramesu, Mary Amen, the second one of them. So, so we have several webinars that will definitely enlighten you, and I'm sure will definitely carry to another level. And this is now one of them: Sheba, Aksum, and the Ark. So you missed it. You definitely can just visit the website, priestisaacinstitute.com, or you can email me, especially at this time, and request, especially those who want to see it speedily. If you would have missed it, you email me and request, you know, the, the uh, availability to look at that webinar from Sunday. Beautiful. Now, as I said, give thanks to those who are in tune with us, definitely. Uh, on the social media, you are in tune to radio. And let me make that clear to the family: you are listening to the Tiger's Nest on radio and with the international flavor, the Universal Spice. So when we seal off of this stream, I'm asking all of the faithful to just press the link in the description below the video that you are watching, and that will lead you straight to read your annual for the continuation of this program because it's going to be a very nice and, and, and I'm going to say full filling edition of the uh, Tiger's Nest. So what I'm saying, family, within history, as I said, we can speak about different mystics and this man from India and this man from China and, you know, about the man from Japan and he lived to be 523 and this man lived to be 344 and you may be surprised, I, I wouldn't really doubt some of that stuff, you know, but, but, but the individuals who are, who are documented in Time magazine, in Life magazine, in the Mirror newspaper, in the Guardian publication, and these people would have surpassed even the age of our Emperor Haile Selassie the first. I remember when Haile Selassie was 121 and 123 and that kind of age there. I would always draw for Sister Ma Israel, Ma Pompey Israel from Dominica, who lived to be 127. You understand? And I would have used that, especially when I was on local radio and I was showing ones. But listen, man, just a few islands away, one island in between Antigua and Dominica, Guadeloupe, and you have a woman there, 127, still climbing the coconut tree and all of that stuff. And she was older than the emperor. That was like one of my big points. I used to use that all the time. Just so ones could understand and keep the faith that nobody can prove nothing happened to the emperor. So why am I a follower of the divine fulfillment of the eternal coming flesh? Why should I just lose my mind as well? You know what I mean? I can 
nobody see him for a while, so he got to be, he's just natural. We mean natural and so many people. Uh, I'm sure some of you would have seen the documentary of uh, the individual known as Sakaman Sonny Mijuk, what they call him Embar Goto, Embar Goto. So, so Embar Goto is really an uh, an Indonesian man who gained attention gained attention for his claim of having to live over a hundred and 40 years it is 147 to be exact this this that this publication should literally say almost 150 years the indonesian government reportedly recognized him as one of the oldest individuals based on an issued id card because of course you see and this is why this is why many individuals who live to a serious ripe old age go undocumented or go unrecognized because they are undocumented they have enough enough old people some of them people that you talking about that live to be 200 years and this and that but because no birth paper no record of you know they they, they cannot find their baptismal paper and all of that jazz. So they go undocumented or undetected on the radar of those who would have lived for a very long time. So then now you have in uh, Nigeria, you have Chief Gabriel Ume Enimo. And this, 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 which I'm going to read for you was taken from an article in 2000 and a 15, and it says, the world's oldest man, Chief Gabriel Ime, is dead at the age of 151. Says that the chief is the world is a World War I and two veteran, born in the family of three as a first child. Yet he had outlived, I could imagine, his younger brothers, age mates, comrades, amongst other. Hails from Aqua, not local government area in um, uh, Ana uh, An Anambra State, Nigeria, and descended, and the dece and the deceased was survived by two sons, three daughters. 28 grandchildren and 20 great grandchildren. This is since 2015, my brothers and sisters, but I am just highlighting that at that time when he passed on, he was 151 years old, according to that report. Not according to the report, that's just what it is, you know. I mean, the report is just reporting to you the truth. And then you, we, you know, we can continue. You have that, that Kwabo Iba, and that Kwabo Iba is from Ethiopia now. And it is said now this one is coming from the Miro publication. And it's saying here now, just pardon me, let me get this out the way. Mm -hmm. Good. In fact, let me give you the heading. Retired Ethiopian farmer claims to be 160 years old and can remember Italy's invasion of his country in 1895. The Kwabo Iba would be 44 years older than the oldest ever recorded living man. And this article was done by one Anthony Bond. Keep in mind, uh, 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 although they say they recall, you see, again, I will repeat, a lot of these ancient ones, because of lack of documentation, some of them get their, their records clarified because of other ones who can testify, not as old as them, but they can testify, well, yeah, man, I, I'm an old, old woman, and I'm an old, old woman. And even before I say that, it reminds me of something Priest Richie always says. 
piece which he says there's this old woman that says that 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 um king emmanuel she would always serve king emmanuel when king emmanuel was with us in <laughs> she's an old woman and she said i know that man dear since i'm a little little girl and when I, since i'm a little girl he's an old man mm -hmm. so so it says here this is the face a picture this is the face of a retired farmer who claims to be an astonishing 160 years old the kwabo iba from ethiopia again would be 44 years older than the oldest ever recorded living man. He claims to have a clear memory of Italy's invasion of his country in 1895, uh, but sadly there is no birth certificate to prove his age. Now, this individual here, I'm speaking now, I would have seen him in a, a documentary that I think was done in the 80s or the 90s, somewhere there about and he was living as like a hermit or a monk, if it is the same individual. And they were saying that he was banished there because he, in the Italian invasion, he sided with the Italian, but he was speared by the emperor. How many of you know that story there? And then he was banished to wherever he had to go. But uh, officially, he would have been 162 when he would have passed, you understand? And we have several more that we want to get into to touch upon the whole aspect of, you know, longevity, the whole aspect of living not just above 100. Like just the other day, a sister passed on. Um, I think she was 103, right here in Antigua, just the other day. About, it's not more than two weeks now. And uh, she was the oldest living centenarian around here. You understand, 103. But we have to comprehend that the literal goodie that we were given was designed to go beyond 100 and 200 and 300. No, no, I'm not talking religion. Yeah, I understand how long Adam and Eve and, and everyone else around that time, they lived for 900 and 800 and all of that stuff. Yeah, I'm talking about the goodie in the right pristine environment, under the right circumstances, with the right levity, what you may call diet. That's why some people are breathitarians because the atmosphere is so pristine. The goodie is designed to renew itself. You can't, you, you can't say what I'm saying. Someone will say forever. I wouldn't go into that argument when it comes to this physical flesh, but I know for sure it wasn't designed to drop out at 70 and to stop working at 60, not even 100, neither 150. That is why you see even in this environment and similar environments, one school would go even 147, 151, 162, you know, as far as their literal age. So what we're going to do, eh, I'm going to highlight uh, a few audio clips for you. And you'll be hearing, uh, if you want to say, more information as it relates to not only these three brothers here, but other brothers and sisters who would have lived way beyond the expected 119 going up the ladder. And you'll be surprised who have been uh, uh, placed on record now. Not no, cons no you know, conspiracy information and something that you cannot verify. People that live in as far as 120. 60, 170 going up the line. And we're going to go into all of that this evening. And, and again, this is just to show and prove, Rastafari. Right? Those of us that hail highly Selassie the first. This is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The long-awaited Messiah. Mr. Perfect himself. In all doings and sayings, and nobody can say nothing about him. What, what the Crouches said about the king the other night. Your sweet grandfather, the billboard of forgiveness. 
you understand, the world's best man and world's perfect diplomat and come and fulfill all prophecy and Sahu and Orion in flesh and the return of the Messiah and seal up King Solomon throne and all that full vibe, the fullness, the man who free up Africa and he just happened to disappear and I who hail him as the Almighty God, they say, well, oops, how long Moses stood in the mountain there? He don't seem like he coming back. Let us build a golden calf. Not me. Not me. So Ross is, I mean, it's sad to hear Ross try to make some excuse to say, well, you know, you know, it's just natural for a man to, to die and all of that. Well, go and tell, go and tell um, um, Chief Gabriel from Nigeria that. Hmm? Go and tell um, Dakwabo Iba from Ethiopia that that is just natural for a man to just drop out if you don't see him for a while. And they have many monks in Ethiopia that the camera never see. Let me show you that. Just like in India, in China. You know how many people in China? People that are living off of blueberries yeah, and breathing crisp, clean air and drinking spring water. Sometimes they wonder if they're levitating when they go and look for them. People that definitely pass 110. People that definitely pass 120. People that definitely pass 140. 50 that the camera just never catch, that Time magazine never catch, National Geographic catch them, but where, where is your birth time certificate? What you talking about? Okay, no, we can't use it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the fire give thanks. So family, what I want you to do, just prepare yourself. Those of you who are watching the stream on the YouTube, you will have to, again, press the link in the description below and join us on Radio Anu for the continuation of this program. I will be presenting to you now some, some serious information. Um, you should get your pen and pads. Those of you that are subscribers, you don't have to worry because you're going to be getting the full program after we are done this evening. And you'll have a list of individuals um, that you can research, literal people, no make-believe, no story business, no fable, no allegory, literal people that have surpassed the, the broken the barrier as such of longevity as we have been expected to believe from, from society. Three scores and ten, that's 70 years, I'm telling you. Yes, Rastafari, I give thanks. Once again, give thanks for those who are with us those who are here on Radio Anu, of course, stay put. And of course, those who are watching us on the stream, this is now your time to mm, press the link in the description below and join us right here on Radio Anu, cutting and clearing both of our